Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching my videos. And um, this one here is just going to be a bit more information about uh, copper coils um, and wrapping your uh, quartz crystals like this little beauty I got here. Um, now, I've got my drink bottle here, it's on a charge plate, but um, you know, these here are my charge plates here. And uh, drink bottle, this is what they're designed for. So, you know, uh, put your liquids on there and uh, it's going to charge them. It's going to energetically uh, structure your water, make it uh, better, healthier, and um, you know, beneficial for your body. And uh, even these little charge plates here, you know, these little ones here, they're perfectly um, um, the right size for something small like that. You know, you can put this anywhere. You can leave this in the fridge and uh, sit it on there, and I know that will keep your whole fridge and uh, every all your foods, fruits, and vegetables, and that in the fridge. Uh, it'll preserve them for a lot longer and things like that as well. But, um, yeah, so that's these little guys. Very nice. Put your hot coffees on them or whatever in a mug. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get on to this. So, now if you don't know, um, copper coils, just something like this here. All these are for is um, to direct the energy to where you want to go. Where do you want it to go? That's what I mean. Like, for instance, this here, I've got it in, in this one here on the front and I've also got it on this uh, very large one here as well that's a full uh, cubit length piece and these ones here are half I cut them to half the cubit length so they've got a known they um any piece of wire for example cut to a specific length will have um, its own frequency it'll like um, you know the band different bands of uh, frequency waves it'll pick up that band so it'll actually resonate um, a certain frequency about it cut to a specific length so it's uh, the royal cubit or the lost cubit or yeah, there's a few different measurements and uh, the Egyptian pyramids uh, use this measurement when they built them so anyway so the way these are configured though their shape their structure <coughs> is when you look at that this way and you see that s in the middle if you look at it the other way the s is backwards yeah so whenever you see the s in the proper way it's supposed to be um it goes towards the viewer so it's actually coming at the camera right now that's the way the energy is going to be focused so right now it's straight up like these here it's straight up you know this one goes straight up that's why when you put your liquids on something like that it's the energy is getting th thrown straight up into it Okay, not only that, this here, um, as organite these here, will um, also put out a, a, like a localised um, orgone field or um, life force field or scalar wave, scalar field. You know, it'll do like a nice bubble effect anyway. But um, this here also helps direct it up, the copper coils. But anyway, what I'm going to do is try to explain this again about wrapping your, um, your quartz crystal points. All right, so you can put them in your pyramid. Normally, you put them in the apex of the pyramid up the top, and you can have, like, you don't have to, but you can have something like this down the bottom or underneath it. So it's really going to help throw the energy up. And then, if you wrap your coil the right way around your crystal, your copper wire, it'll help throw it up even further. So it just helps the whole process of which way you want that energy to flow. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, or get part of it done, and I'm going to show you what I mean. All right, what I'm going to try to do is explain. It's a bit hard with, um, you know, I've got no tripod or anything like that. I'm just doing this by hand. But when you wrap your quartz points, you want to go, you want to wrap them in a clockwise, clockwise way. So how do you know that it's clockwise? You think it'd be simple, but it can be quite confusing. A lot of people get it wrong. Um, and they're actually anti-clockwise, but they think they've done it the right way. But let me explain. So you can see that this end here, when my finger's tapping, that's that's the point. Okay, so we want the energy. It naturally wants to flow up to the to the point. The um, you know, the natural um, energy likes to flow out of points. But you know, copper wire can also help as well. But um, especially when it's um under you know in the resin and it's got that piezoelectric property, everything likes to come up at the tip. So you can see that, that there's the point. So what I want to do is the way I've got this wire started on that side there um, is the way you want to start it, and then you want to wrap it around. Jesus, is hard. Hang on, two secs. Now this is exaggeration. I'll clean this up. You want to wrap it around that way because give us two secs. Okay, so we're back. So yeah, you can see how I've started it. How the wires on this side. I've got the point facing this way. And see how I've wrapped it around there. You can look at the tip, 
see which way it comes off. Now, if I face that point at you, so which way is that spiraling off? It's going clockwise, yeah? If you follow that wire and go around, it'll actually come out the tip clockwise. Like, if you continue wrapping that around the way it is at the crystal right now, it's going clockwise, okay? So that's how you know, you know? Like, really, you have to study it sometimes, you know? And even if it's... Yeah, so if you follow this bottom piece here, this wire, and go up, and it curls around this way here, it's going up to the tip, and you can see that's going clockwise, okay? A lot of people get that confused. Um, okay, so this is very rough. This is not, you know, a good job, but I'm um, very rough just for video purposes only. So now you can probably see it a little bit better. All right, you can tell that from the bottom to the tip where we want the energy to flow out, it's going clockwise, wrapped around, okay? I've tried to explain this in one of my videos um, in the earlier days when I was just getting into this, but um, this is a theory that I come up with, okay? So we know that with this here, you can see this online, you can just Google search this as um, diagrams and all that and the way these are supposed to work, um, which way the energy is. So, you know, if you got the POR and DOR or POE and DOE, depending on, you know, whatever, the positive energy, orgone energy or um, deadly orgone energy. All right, so the, the deadly stuff is supposed to come through that way. So it goes um, sucked up. Too, like goes away from the wearer so it gets sucked up that way but only the POR the positive comes out that side okay so that's how you know the energy right now will go up and it's only the good stuff coming up okay now you can see which way this is spirals the reason why if you start at the center and follow the wire out it goes clockwise as well so I've already established that this is clockwise and this is makes this makes sense right what I'm, what I'm going to say right now this is my theory I've tried to do this on a previous video if we connect the two wires there it continues going on the same path like you unravel this one here it's going clockwise and then it spirals also up and it goes in the same curve that same uh, clockwards wrap okay if you see what I mean see so this is clockwards clockwise coming at you and you connect that right now if it was the other way and you wrap this the other way around it actually um, contradicts itself or whatever it's going this way and then if you connect it it'll actually spin the opposite way and I don't think it should be like that so um this makes all the sense in the world I believe I've got it correct if you want this energy to flow up the tip so this is at the base of a pyramid for example this is in the apex this is exactly how you would want it because it continues Right, it continues that way, that spiral. So it's just going to amplify it. It's really going to help throw it out the tip. And that's all this is for. And when the, the wire is cut in um, a specific length, it actually picks up a certain frequency. So, um, you know, X amount of um, your in your hertz or whatever range. I, I don't know what, I forget what range it is when it's cut in a specific length, but uh, it'll vibrate to a certain frequency which is beneficial for us as well. And it just adds and all, all goes together with the organite, the copper coils, the right length of that, the materials in here and the um, density that we have it. We know this stuff works, like um, our stuff that we do from uh, our experience that we do. And um, yeah, I've just tried to explain this a bit better. This is the main reason about this video. And um, yeah, copper coils. Another coil that's really good is... Um, the triskelion so it's a water um, emblem and and cut to the cubit length as well like this length here and um, yeah excellent stuff that there's got healing properties and water and all that as well um, but yeah can't recommend this stuff enough you know these little ones here perfect for your drink bottle uh good coasters you can leave them in the fridge you can put them under your bed you can put them on your bedside table you can put them under your bed you can put one underneath your you know your mattress of your in your baby's cot or something like that to really help them you know heal grow as well i know this stuff for a fact helps plants grow so why wouldn't it help us grow um yeah so that's it basically it's this video 
um, yeah, all right, guys, uh, stay tuned for more videos, and um, thanks for watching.